Well, according to the program, that's why you can't escape, okay? So maybe invite our national artist, Dr. F. Chanel Jose, to give his remarks. Let's welcome him one. Thank you for coming here and listening to my dear daughter, who is also my editor, and she's a very tough editor. Uh, what can I add to that? Other than repeat, uh, perhaps, how important ito mga bata na ito, how important it is for you to persevere, to have passion always, which can only be nurtured by sincerity and love, not only for literature, but for this unhappy country. <laughs> and most of all, because it has already been said, uh, these are, what you are doing, these are seedlings for the Pananga Awards. <laughs> um, I take my hat off, you know, to, to the Palancas, to Sylvia, who is here, for nurturing an effort that has lasted more than 60 years at great expense, you know. It's an effort that all of us who are interested in our cultural, cultural development should acknowledge. Mm -hmm. um, and most of all, Uh, I, I don't know how many of you are already married. Married the past and you married? Oh, good, yeah. Well, I am sometimes asked you know, by young writers you know, how they can succeed. And when I hear up I always tell them, you know, get, read, uh, get married to a rich man or woman yes. so that you can have support while you are writing because writing does not pay at all. <laughs> I, I know of no Filipino writer na prepare talaga except Ambeto Campo. Somebody <laughs> yeah. But Ambet didn't get that fortune through writing, huh? through inheritance. So that, that, that's one of the things that you should consider. You know, have someone who understands you, who can share your loneliness, who doesn't worry too much kung walang pera sa banko, and who defends you vigorously against your own critics. <laughs> and this is what my wife has been to me all these years. <laughs> 